Hi everyone, I'm here Shijaya Sena from Sri Lanka and my Beauty with a Purpose project is focused on uplifting the lives of thalassemia patients by raising funds, having informative awareness sessions and also providing screening services to communities that are prone to risk. As far as the fundamental happiness is concerned, I believe that the right to a healthy life is the most important gift. But there are communities, people just like us, to whom this gift is hard to embrace. Yet, they keep fighting and dreaming. I will tell you a story. The story of a group of such amazing fighters and dreamers from my beautiful island who are battling with thalassemia. Thalassemia is the most common genetic blood disorder in Sri Lanka and has also affected the nation, community as a whole, and an economic perspective. But the biggest question is the psychological impact this has on our patients. Because this disorder is stigmatized in society and there's a lot of countless challenges in finding one's identity, facing society, doing your day-to-day -day tasks normally, etc. So my main purpose is to raise awareness about this genetic disorder, which could help save thousands of lives every year, and also preserve our monetary sources for other things. To an aggregate of 3,000 diagnosed patients, around 100 new patients are diagnosed every year. And within our nation's population of 21 million, around 2 to 3 percent are carriers for the gene responsible for this destructive disorder. If you have what is called thalassemia major, the severe form of the disease, the disease which is usually diagnosed when the child is about three months of age, this child requires blood transfusions every month for the rest of their lives. And as you give blood, the child grows well, but the, the children keep on accumulating iron in their body because blood is so rich in iron, but unfortunately the human body has no mechanism to get rid of excess iron. So as they get older, when they are about 12 years of age, if they have lived for 12 years that is, they become uh, so loaded with iron that they die of iron overload. A thalassemic child dies before the age of 10 without treatment, and a patient who only takes transfusion without chelation therapy is likely to die in their mid-20s. Therefore, it has been very distressful for patients and families as they have to undertake lifetime treatment that has to be carefully handled. Madhu Paule, Amai Tatai, Mamai, Inne, Appe Ayya Nathiu Na, Thalassemia Vinda, Eet Mama Me Behet Karega Na Lebe Na Sati Tunen Tunen Te Na Ma Sati Tunen Tunen Te Lebe Ila Me Dandati Ana Behet Hama Dama Udde Kama Te Pera Arega Na Me Hama Dama E Valtik Karega Na Ma Mama Thalassemia Vinda Me Apart from physiological barriers that they face, the other most crucial issue rises through a psychological framework, especially in maintaining their identity in a society a cultural aggregate that stigmatizes bodily disorders. We want to change the concept of the society about the thalassemic patient. They think that they, the thalassemic patients can't do anything. 
like that. So we want to reject that idea and we want to motivate them. We want to motivate them uh, to get the high education and to uh, if they are having another talent or skill of their own, we want to help to develop that skill. So the society should uh, see that side mostly. Throughout my academic career, I have spent a memorable time with these amazing patients from the thalassemia unit and felt that my voice could help them find their fulfillment and their gift. Therefore, as an initiative of my charity group, Stepping Stones, I launched Project SANA, a community service initiative to provide screening services and informative awareness sessions on thalassemia to risk-prone communities. Through this three-component project, I will be providing screening services to do blood sampling and testing to see whether or not they're prone to risk and also provide resources and awareness sessions on what this disease is, how you acquire it, and what lifestyle habits can help you eradicate it from your life and the community. A byproduct of this initiative is to also raise monetary funds to support thalassemia institutions in expanding healthcare service, micro-level research, and also incorporation of advanced equipment and medication. Project SANA has been a tremendous journey that I'm hoping to continue, and under the light and inspiration of Miss World Sri Lanka Beauty with a Purpose platform, this journey is hoping to move forward and shine in helping fighters and dreamers in finding their gift.